announcing the updated AMD Crea KV260 Vision AI Starter Kit. First launched in 2021, the kit was initially designed for prototyping smart city and industrial applications. Since then, it's become one of AMD's top-selling evaluation platforms, based on adaptive SoCs, helping accelerate product development cycles with production Crea SOMs, like the K26 SOM at the heart of this kit. This 2025 version is tuned up for vision and robotics applications, with a comprehensive hardware update and a new autofocus feature that expands the field of potential use cases. And of course, fresh new branding. This video is sponsored by AMD, and I'm your host, Alex Glow. Let's dig in. Compared to the previous kit, the product name, part number, and price are all the same, holding steady at $249, and you can find all the details on the product page linked in the description below. Right away we see this sleek new package design. Inside there's a sheet of stickers for the AMD fans, plus a board diagram and the usual legal information, and a link to the getting started info at amd.com slash kv260-start. Beneath the protective foam is our kit, in its anti-ESD bag. Let's go on a tour. The kit has also gotten a minor visual makeover, with a new black fan sink for active cooling over the SOM and carrier card. This revamped Vision Carrier Card is where AMD has focused their efforts to further accelerate developers' time to market, adding an autofocus feature through the IAS camera interface connected to the ISP, which enables more Vision AI use cases, such as tracking LED pulses for ultra-high-speed pose detection, sophisticated perception for robots using ROS2, and smart camera accelerated applications with local display and RTSP streaming. They've also updated the components throughout the carrier card, extending their life cycle to make life easier for those designing custom carrier cards. These advancements will especially benefit embedded software developers working with FPGAs, RTL design, and AI. Of course, many features are carried over from the previous version, such as multi-camera support with up to eight interfaces available for use, three MIPI sensor interfaces and support for USB cameras, HDMI and DisplayPort outputs, plus gigabit ethernet, and USB 3.0 ports. The kit is also compatible with Raspberry Pi cameras and the solderless PMOD ecosystem of peripherals, and can be extended to work with innumerable other sensors and interfaces. Near the microSD card port, you'll also find connectors for JTAG debugging. The first generation kit was a powerful and affordable introduction to the world of Kriya SOMs, but if you're really trying to push the limits, whether you're a hobbyist, enthusiast, or professional, you can use the updated version to take full advantage of software tools that let you get started on day one without needing specialized FPGA expertise. Anything you used with the first generation, such as the Ubuntu OS, pre-built applications, and custom software, will remain compatible as well. Both versions of the Crea KV260 Vision AI Starter Kit are compatible with AMD's software and the Crea App Store, where you can explore a wide selection of accelerated applications from AMD and partners, like this event vision-based sensor. Thanks again to AMD for sponsoring this video. Head over to the AMD Platform Hub on Hackster.io for tons of example projects and in-depth tutorials, including these ones by Whitney Knitter. Then join the community and share your own designs, enter our contest to prove your skills and win fabulous prizes, and catch the latest on Hackster News. Subscribe here for more unboxings, tutorials, interviews, and virtual events, and hack on.